One, two, three, action. Here we go, starting on our adventure. Here we go, let the journey begin. Here we go. Here we go. So the goal is, is to eliminate any excuse for students to have so that they're not in school on that first day. We want to make it possible. We're doing physicals and um, checkups, dental and health screenings so the kids can have that um, component ready so they can be ready for school on the first day. Something about people that seem to be helpless, that are the underdogs, that just can't seem to help themselves, that somehow touches God's heart the most. Every one of my children got a haircut today. Um, my son received some new tennis shoes, which was good timing because his front ones, I didn't notice, but I guess they were all worn out in the front. The church doesn't just happen on the weekend. The church happens every day. It's who we are. Outreach isn't something that we do. It's a part of the DNA of who we are as believers in Christ. And when you volunteer, you're becoming a doer. You're really bringing scripture to life. Yeah, I met a little boy and he came and he, his hands are shaking almost. He's been here all night, slept on an air mattress. And he said, now, did I get a bike today? I said, heck yeah, man. I said, you know what, and I'll help you, man. We'll go pick out a great bike. We're here just giving a hand of hope. Um, extending our our ability to help others um, and put a smile on someone else's face who who's not able to do for themselves as much as they would like we really had a wonderful time it was just i enjoyed it i'm very thankful i thank god for so many people that's uh, giving up their time to come and help someone else, and that means a lot to me. We were trying to figure out how we were going to help them clean this up and haul everything away. And then right in the middle of trying to figure that out, we get the call that we're going to be able to get those funds. And I'm sorry, they mean a lot to me. And for me to be able to tell them, I got this. I got this. I'm going to clean this up for you. It's not going to cost you a dime. It just means the world to me. He just had a plan for us. Jeremiah 29, 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future.